Hi guys, it's Jesse here. Today we're gonna watch a video of Liu Simu who plays Shang Qi speaking Chinese. Is he a native speaker? Let's find out. So before we start, I just need to clarify that videos like this are not meant to criticize. Oh, you're not speaking Chinese good enough. Ha ha ha. No. It's not like that. They're meant to be educational. It's for especially people who are learning Chinese to learn from other people. It doesn't matter if their Chinese is so good or not good at all. We can all learn things from them. That's what these kind of videos are for. I see that some people have taken this in the wrong way, saying that、um, this is something like, how would you feel if people are、uh, saying you're 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 speaking English with accents, your English is not good enough, it's not perfect. I'm aware of that. I know my English is not perfect, and I'm really open to any critiques. There have been people telling me that oh, you have misused this word, you have mispronounced this word, and I have been nothing but grateful to all those kind of critiques because no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. My English is not perfect. I'd love any advice on how to improve them, how to change that. Because if everyone around me is just telling me, "Oh, you're perfect. Your English is so good. You are so good," then. I can never grow. I can never improve. I'm just saying I have no malicious intent. You see what you want to see. You hear what you want to hear. And if it really makes you sting, why not watch something else? Anyways, now let's get started. See how Liu Simu's Chinese is and what we can learn from him. Hey everyone, 大家好，我今天非常开心，因为我终于开了一个微博账户。那现在我的语言水平不是特别高，所以我就不多说了。可是我保证大家，我一定会好好学习中文，一定会进步的。Uh, 我非常高兴与大家交流。Wow. Uh, 一会儿见吧啊。Wow, I did not expect that. I know he's from he's from Harbin, which is in the northeast of China. But、um, I also know that he moved to Canada when he's like really young. I don't know, like maybe five or something like that. So I was expecting two things: either that he speaks Chinese with this foreign accent, or he's gonna speak with northeastern Chinese accent.、Um, the northeastern Chinese dialects, which is. 东北话 their intonation and tones are different from standard Mandarin. I'm gonna show you a clip of how it sounds like. 哎呦哇，福隆大兵真好呀，把我扶了一顿，一下子给我整蒙圈了啊！你个三炮。But surprisingly, Liu Simu speaks standard Mandarin and really, really well. All his tones and and the pace and the intonation and the flow, so native speaker level. You can tell too, right? From how fast and naturally it flows. You can't do that if you're not familiar with the language. Although, if we have to nitpick, I mean, his pronunciation and fluency is definitely, I'd say. Ten out of ten, but some choices of the words and how he phrases the sentences could be a little bit better, just a little bit. For example, he said, "This is grammatically correct, but、um, it doesn't sound so natural. Like people don't really say it this way in everyday conversation. The more natural way would just be." Now my Chinese is not very good. 现在我的普通话不是特别好 ，but what he said makes sense too, and people can understand. I'm just saying that、um, that's not what most people would say. Also, he said, 我保证大家，我保证大家 ，I promise you guys. It's not wrong, but the more authentic way would be, 我向大家保证 ，I promise you， 我向你保证 ，I promise you I'll never drink again. 我向你保证，我再也不喝酒了。我向你保证，我再也不喝酒了。Another word he used is 语 It means end with. 我非常高兴与大家交流。语 is mostly used in formal speeches or for writing. In everyday conversation, there are two alternatives. One of them is 和我和你 Another alternative is 跟我跟你 Okay, let's keep watching. 我想跟我们所有中国的粉丝说一下，谢谢，谢谢你们的鼓励，你们的支持，我非常感动。对另外那些人，巴不得我们失败的那些人，我没有什么话可说了，你们好好等着吧。Well, that was really cool, and he used this really authentic word, 巴不得 It's used to describe someone wants something so bad, so desperate. I want nothing but that. 他巴不得我失败 He wants me to fail so bad. 我巴不得你死 I want nothing but you die. 我自我介绍一下，好不好？我的名字是刘思慕，我是哈尔滨出生的，多伦多长大的。今天我非常非常感谢漫威
So that was him introducing himself in the Comic Con, representing Shang Chi. Again, it was really, really good. But um, I'm not sure if it's mispronunciation or maybe just different translation. Okay, in mainland China, Marvel is translated as Man Wei, the first tone, the flat tone, but he pronounced it as which is the second tone, the rising tone. Not sure if it's just because he's thinking in English because English is in Marvel, Man Wei. Or maybe it's translated differently in other countries or regions. I'm not sure. Another thing is that the movie's Chinese name is Shang Qi, the falling tone. Qi, he pronounced it as Shang Qi. Shang Qi. Rising tone again. Overall, really good, really fluent. Okay, another clip of him singing in Chinese. Let's see. <laughs> That's a cute song. I have nothing to say about that singing part. He sings really well. All the pronunciation, again, really, really good. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say really good, but it was really good. Except a little bit flaw, tiny, tiny flaw. It's one of the most popular Chinese greetings, especially during Spring Festival. The second character is Xi. I've mentioned this in a previous video that for a lot of people who speak English, it's hard to differentiate the Chinese initial Xi from the Sh in English. Xi. Xi. So next time, if you want to know if someone's Chinese is good or not, the easiest and the fastest way is to ask them to say thank you in Chinese. And listen carefully. Did they say 谢谢 or 谢谢? Unless they watch this video and prepared for it like what you're doing right now. <laughs> By the way, Liu Simu did say 谢谢 in this video and he nailed it. So for this small mistake in 恭喜发财 Maybe this clip was recorded earlier or maybe it was just a slip of the tongue It doesn't look like a typical mistake for him as far as what I can see But other than that teeny tiny mistake, it was flawless 睁开双手, <laughs> Is he a singer? He should be. He's really good. Oh, I said it one more time. Anyways, in that part, there was one mispronounced character. Who? Show. Who? Fun fact, Sherlock Holmes' Chinese name is Fu Er Mo Si, while Fa Mu Lan's Chinese name is Hua Mu Lan, both associated with these two initials but comes from different Chinese dialects. Sherlock Holmes was translated into Fu Er Mo Si in Qing Dynasty when Mandarin hasn't come into being and the translator was from Fujian province. And in Fujian dialect, there is no Fu sound. The Fu sound would become He sound, which means to him, Fu Er Mo Si is Hu Er Mo Si. Holmes. Why is Hua Mulan translated as Fa Mulan? I was confused at first. I was like, it can't be Fujian dialect again because according to Fujian dialect, Fu becomes He. It doesn't work the other way around because Fu doesn't exist in that dialect. Then I had to Google it, and according to Google, Disney said Fa was the Cantonese pronunciation of Hua, which I later on confirmed with Lee. Hua Mulan in Cantonese is Fa Mulan. Oh, just in case if you're wondering, maybe Simu Liu was singing Shou Hu in Cantonese? Nope! Shou Hu in Cantonese is Shou Wu. Finally, finally a scriptwriter who lets the actors talk like normal people. Look at all these authentic words. 
替罪羔羊 It refers to someone who's taking the blame for someone else's fault or someone else's crime. So now I'll be your替罪羔羊在所不惜 at all cost is in Chinese idiom. 背叛你大哥也在所不惜，背叛你二哥也在所不惜。Also, look how Smu Liu pronounced 一个。Look at the tone change. I explained the tone change of e in this video. Click that to find out. So we can see that Liu Simu's spoken Chinese is amazing. I'm really, really impressed. And、um, this is kind of off the topic, but、um, let's talk about the movie Shang Chi. I've seen a lot of people are saying, "Oh, this movie got backlash in China, and Chinese people are are roasting Simu Liu for for being not handsome or for being being ugly and stuff like that." Um. You know what? Let's let's take a look at the comments of this video I just watched. It's on、um, Billy Billy, which is you can think it as like Chinese YouTube. Okay, it's got a hundred and eighty four comments. 挺阳光的一个小伙子，总比那些娘炮强吧。Better than those pussies. 人还挺帅的感觉，好歹有男人味。Masculine. 唱歌音准有点东西。哎呀，车主 ，he sings really well. 真帅，长在我的审美点上。其实我觉得挺帅的。这中文说的真的非常棒。这唱歌挑不出来毛病。Oh, here's a main comment with nine likes. 眉毛不好看，眼睛太小，还有鼻翼两旁那个线特别的明显。如果这几个地方能改一下，我感觉就没问题了。And、someone replied, 上帝缺你造人。You know, there's actually something you can say in Chinese when people are judging you by your looks. It goes like this: 撒泡尿照照你自己吧 It literally means take a piss and look at yourself through your own urine. What do you look like? 唱歌还有点好听，他其实还挺有天赋的。我觉得他好帅，有性张力。So basically, most of the comments are positive. You can see maybe like one or two like really mean comments out of maybe a hundred or two hundred like that. Um, this is not just on Billy Billy, which is Chinese YouTube.、Um, I've also looked into other Chinese social media, other mainstream Chinese social media like Zhihu, which is like Reddit, and Weibo, which is like Twitter. So on all these Chinese social media, as far as I can see, there are actually not so many like comments towards him. But、um, I can see that a lot of people are still like、um, they're they're still against the movie. Well, mainly because the character in the comic book Fu Manzhou is super racist. That's why people are against it. I haven't watched the movie. It hasn't come out in mainland China yet. Not sure if it will. It might. I'm not sure what this movie is about. If it's good or bad. If it's racist or not racist. Or maybe you have watched it. You can tell me about it. But I don't know yet. So I'm not gonna say、um, if this movie is this or that. Because I don't know, and、um, I think for those people who are saying, "Oh, he's not good looking, he's not handsome," I mean, oh, of course, some of them are just purely haters because haters are everywhere. They hate everything they see. But there is definitely part of them are just thinking in the mindset. They're thinking, "Oh, so you? We don't know you, but by the time we do, you are you're you're you've picked your side. You've decided to help these racist people against us." So we we think you're ugly. We think you're not handsome. It's not just about the appearance. It's about the charisma. It's about how people know you. Like let's take Tony Liang for example. Is he like oh so handsome? I think it's mainly because he has been on on the screen for so many years and he has done so many good works. So when people see him, they're seeing with this filter like oh my god, he's so cool as. That guy in that movie, so I like him. So handsome. It's also about what people think when they think of you. Because if you say, "Oh, Chinese people don't like men with small eyes," take Jay Chou for example. He's got small eyes. He's like the most popular singer in Taiwan and mainland China. He's huge. He's big time. When people think of him. They think of all those amazing music he has created. It's about who they are, not just about the appearance. So um, I think if the movie actually comes out in mainland China, if it's good, if it's not racist, and if Simu Liu is actually a great actor, net people are gonna love him anyways. So yeah, those are my personal thoughts. I'm not speaking for anyone. I only stand for myself, Jesse. Oh, actually, Simu Liu has done a Q and A on Weibo. Let's see what people. People have asked him and how he dealt with them. 问我一个问题，我可能会用英语回答
，请原谅。Ask me a question. Due to my language constraints, I may respond in English. Please forgive me. Okay, we're gonna jump into comments in a bit, but I have to point out this. Please bear with me. 请原谅 which means please forgive me. Again, it's not wrong. It's understandable, but the better phrase would be 请见谅谅 means to forgive. 见 in here is an auxiliary word. It used to before the verb, meaning to the verb to the speaking person. So if I say 请见谅 it means please forgive me. Similar phrase 请见教 please educate me. It's a polite way to ask for someone's opinion. Anyways, now let's take a look at the comments. Okay, the first one is kind of spicy already. 当你被抨击长相时，你的感受是什么？会带给你压力吗 ？And Leo replied, "Some people like pizza, some people like burgers, some people like wontons, some people like 炸酱面 just different flavors for different people." Wow, that's really well said, and I I totally agree. There's so many good-looking people out there. Also, some people who do plastic surgery to change how they look. So I feel like at the end of the day, it all comes down to personality. Okay, the second comment. <laughs> It just comes out of nowhere. It's got、uh, over a thousand likes. What's the color of your underwear today, and which brand? And Leo replied. He said, "Red Kelvin Klein." <laughs> Anyways, what's your favorite Marvel movie? He said, "Thor." Oh, someone asked about his Chinese. 视频里说的挺流利，你的中文到底哪里不好 ？Liu said, "I can't read or write, and my vocabulary is very basic right now." Well, it makes sense considering he grew up in Canada, and to be honest, his spoken Chinese is already so much better than a lot of people who grew up in a foreign country. Okay, someone said, "How's your experience on Weibo with your Chinese audience so far?" He said. In the beginning, I read a lot of negative stuff, but instead of letting that scare me off, I tried to reach out more, and I found lots of really cool, supportive fans. That's sweet. 请问和梁朝伟的合作感觉如何 ？He was in one of my favorite movies. He's he's super cool, such a great actor. And Liu replied, "It was an absolute dream come true. He is so talented and so humble and kind." Very patient with an inexperienced guy such as myself. What do you think the most important thing made you become Shang Qi, not others? Do you cast for this role for lots of time? Liu replied, "I think about this a lot. I was neither the tallest or the best looking or the best martial artist. I think what made them choose me was my willingness to play an ordinary person, flawed and imperfect." Wow, that's so well said. Oh, here comes an edgy comment, and this guy. I'm not sure if it's a guy, and this person writes in such formal manner. He or she said, 既然刘思慕先生有这个气度来开通微博，那么我也不怕问。一，如何看待上汽反派的背景是源于黄祸论？二，客观上。从刘思慕先生的五官、妆容、造型等，是只符合西方白人对于黄种人的刻板印象。我们对此称之为“高级脸”。Who said that? 并认为这种刻板是源于白人的傲慢，这完全是可以从化妆等技术上改变。请问对此看法 ？You should work on your grammar. And Liu replied very carefully to both the two questions. He said, "Number one, everyone involved is very aware of the problematic source material. We have all the liberty in the world to create a completely new story." Most fans share our open mind and understand this, so no problem at all. Okay, number two, that's my face you're talking about, dude. It's the way that I was born, and I like it just fine. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but actors aren't cast on the basis of looks. But I love the way I look. I'm ordinary and I'm real. Deal with it. Oh my God, this deserves a round of applause. He's so cool, and he dealt with this with such class. It doesn't matter if they're supportive or like doubtful or or just purely weird. He replied to all those comments. It's like I feel like he's embracing all those different voices and facing them just like a superhero. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and do let me know what you think in the comments below. And maybe you can tell me more about the the movie. Did they speak Chinese in the movie? How was it? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.